Hey everybody, good morning. No, I'm lying. Good very much afternoon. Um, it is a Saturday this morning. And this is going to be a what I eat in a day. This is the most talking that I'll be doing in this video. For most of it, you know what to expect. A whole lot of food. Um, it is 1 p.m. I just got out of my bed and I took a shower. I was reading all morning and that went fantastic. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the book though. Um, I was reading all morning, drank some water, lots of water. This is my third liter today. Drank a lot of tea as well. Um, as you can tell in the title down below, this is a healthy eating, healthy living kind of uh, what I eat in a day. Of course, it is a new year and in the new year, we all try to do right. Okay. I know one, one thing that I know about me is that over the December period, I did indulge. I indulged in takeaways. I indulged in extra larger portions of food because, you know, going home, the cooking, all of that. So... For the past week, I have been trying to eat much healthier, and that's what I'm going to show you today as well. I don't quite know what I'm going to have. This is pretty much going to be my lunch, to be honest. Um, so you just might end up seeing two major meals and probably a snack or something in between. I don't quite know what I'm going to have, but I do know it's going to involve an egg, avocado, and I don't have bread in the house, but I do have... Um, the seeded rolls from Woolworths. Let me show you what they look like. I've got these. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these. They're quite small, relatively, maybe like that, that small. I am going to fry up an egg, fix, fix a wrap or something, um, and of course have a little bit of fruit on the side. I love having a sweet and savory breakfast at the same time it's quite enjoyable really really quite enjoyable so i'm gonna have some sweet fruits there maybe some berries you know how i go you know how i roll and then an egg avocado and a roll gonna keep it really simple let's do it okay clink cheers Since we like doing taste tests in this house, I'm going to taste uh, this whole concoction that I just came up with. It's not even anything to come up with. It's not really an invention, is it? All right. The thing about this is when I add something savory into my mouth, I like to follow it up with something sweet. Oh man. That, that whole entire fusion that happens there, I don't even know. It's like, it's like if you're somebody who likes to eat cheese with uh, jam or you like to eat cheese with strawberries 
or grapes or whatever, that whole fusion. That's why I like sweet and savory breakfast at the same time. <laughs> mm. The blueberries, the blueberries add that uh, sweetness that I'm looking for. It's fantastic. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> so good. Mm. So good. All right. I'm going to munch on this while I catch up on some YouTube videos, I guess. And then I'll probably come back a little bit later for a snack for dinner tonight. I've already planned it out. I've got some um, pork sausages that I'm going to just... And I've got some burglar wheat and then we'll add some vegetables to that. It's going to be a time. I'll see you a little bit later. Hey, yeah, so it's much later on in the day. It's around 4.30. And I'm actually thinking of starting to prepare my dinner. The reason why I say that is because the lighting is better. So it'll be better for me to shoot. But also, I typically eat around 6 anyway. So uh, the earlier I can cook, and I can package it up nicely, put it away. And then when it's time to eat, I can eat. But it's more so that I'm doing this for you. So that you guys can see in great lighting what I'm preparing. I'm going so uh, I'm going to be doing bugla wheat today or bulgur wheat, however way you want to say it, doesn't matter. It's basically um, cracked wheat that has been put together. It's very rich in minerals and it's uh, very good for promoting weight loss. So if you are somebody who's looking to eat, lose weight, bugla wheat is a great alternative as opposed to rice or um, whatever else that's starchy and full of carbs. Bugla wheat is a great alternative for that and it's really really rich in nutrients and minerals so it's a great 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 extra to have on your plate when you got your meat and your salad and your whatever so i am going to be doing the boogaloo wheat um and i'm going to be adding some little bits and of um, vegetables i'll show you how i'm going to prepare it and then i'm going to have vegetables on the side just steaming broccoli all of that and then I'm finally then going to have the sausages. So what I'm going to try and start with now is the bugla wheat. It's very, very quick to cook. I'll show you how to prepare it. Um, I'll probably talk you through this one. And then everything else I'll probably just do and have a little montage and music playing in the back. Let's get started with the wheat. To prepare the burglar wheat, we need our pan. Here is the wheat. I'm probably going to use most, if not all of it, because I want to keep it in the fridge and then warm it up over the next two or three days. So I'm perfectly fine with using all of it. Okay, maybe half, half of this. Um, and I'll show you how to prepare it. First, you start by putting the stove on a medium to high heat, so mine ends up at six. So I'll probably go with four. And then, you add your coconut oil. Um, you can use any type of oil, but you just I just kind of wing it. That's how much I need. Um, and then as soon as the oil starts to heat up, then we're going to add the bulgur wheat, <laughs> the bulgur wheat whatever you want to say. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that to cook up, I'll take out all the spices and the vegetables that need to be chopped up. And all right, so in terms of what I add to my burglar wheat, I love these two. This is uh, rosemary and olive and garlic and herb seasoning. Very, very good, simple, clean. You don't have to add too much. And then, of course, salt and pepper. <laughs> Still running out of the pepper, but it's fine. And then as we wait for this to heat up, because we do want it quite hot, I'm going to get out the vegetables. So these are the veggies that I'm going to be steaming on the side in a different pot. We all know how to steam. It's easy. doesn't take longer than two, three minutes. And then what I'm going to add to the bugler wheat is this. So I'm going to chop these up and dice them up and then add them to the bugler wheat at a later stage. So, I'm going to prepare this. Okay, 
so here we go i've got one cup here and i'm going to add the burglar wheat to the cup so so i did about half a cup which is this is quite a considerably big cup so that's fine i did about half a cup of this and i'm gonna pour it into there like so pour the whole thing because it does it is going to expand so we want that so it's going to be much bigger than it is right now okay and essentially what you do is you stir you let it saute for a little bit this basically brings out the nutty rich flavor of the burglar wheat which is going to be so nice um, you do this for about two to three minutes until that you, you can see that it's golden brown so while this happens let me check the time so what you do now it's been about four minutes this is how it looks so what you do now is you move it from the heat you keep the heat on essentially where you add your spices i'm going to add the garlic and herb just generously there there we go I'm going to add the rosemary and thyme olive <laughs> rosemary and olive which again is one of my favorites this time around i'm not going to add the salt too much because there is salt in the rosemary and olive so i'm just going to add a bunch of pepper let me stir that quite nicely Oh, it really smells so good. All right, stir that a little bit. All right, and then you take the same cup that you have, same measurement that you did with the burglar wheat, you add water. So this was half a cup, so I'm going to add half a cup of water in here. I'm just gonna... There you go, just move it around so it gets all the wheat in there very good and then i'm going to place it back onto the heat with the lid covered and then as soon as it starts to boil up i remove it again from the heat so i'll show you i'll show you the whole thing all right so this is the point that i wanted to show you as soon as you see this happening you remove immediately from the heat and you can add your peppers at this point remove it from the heat very very important that you do this cover it right back up remove from the heat and you let it sit like this for 10 minutes so that it can soak up all the water and then you should be done that's how burglar wheat is cooked folks so we leave it there on the side for about 10 okay so it's been about 12 minutes here we go we're gonna do the whole reveal the wheat has probably soaked up all of the water at this stage and it probably looks a lot more than the last time you saw it it looks like fuller now it's filled up and it looks <laughs> yes no remaining water driplets which we love it's nice it's fluffy it's can we taste it maybe jeez i want to taste it oh yeah crunchy as well i added the peppers right at the end so the peppers are still quite crunchy which is amazing and yeah okay so i ran out of memory so basically this is what it looks like that's the burglar wheat it is absolutely delicious and these are the vegetables so now I'm going to prepare the sausage and essentially sausage, let me turn this around. Sausage people cook differently. I just add a little bit of water to the pan and I let the um, sausage sort of like boil up and all of that. I'll show you. I add a little bit of seasoning and that's pretty much it. So I'm not really going to show much of that process, um, but I will show you something. And then I will show you me preparing the dish later on tonight. So let me prepare the sausage.
and here you go you can add whatever seasoning or dressing you would like to add to this you can add tahini sauce which is really really good as well a little bit of orange juice for me personally i'm an orange juice fan freshly squeezed i love it and tomato sauce achar you can add whatever it is this is a healthy nutritious meal everything within the correct ratio um i typically just cut up my <laughs> my sausages but you don't have to do that but for me this is a perfect filling healthy meal that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video that is it from me i'm gonna go have my dinner while i continue to watch the office on netflix hilarious i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this what i eat in a day if you'd like to see more definitely do subscribe to the channel comment below let me know what you'd like to see also click the notification bell and subscribe and so you know when i release new content until then i'll see you in the next one Mwah. bye